Well, surgery has been the mainstay of treatment for breast cancer for many years. It actually started out because before we had better diagnostic uh, capabilities, before we had things like mammograms and sonograms and, and certainly diagnosis of tumors before you could feel them, most of the time a, a woman would come in with a lump in the breast. It was something she could feel, that her doctor could feel, and it was something that a surgeon was used to doing. Well, of course, so now the question comes in, has this changed? Has the surgical role in the management of breast cancer changed over the years? Clearly it has. It, it has because our radiology colleagues have been able to start honing down smaller and smaller tumors. So the, the role of the radiologist in breast cancer uh, is to find lesions when they're, when they're very small, very early, and we do this through a number of modalities that we have at our disposal. If an abnormality is seen on mammography, if it's seen, if a mass is seen on ultrasound, or if a lesion is seen on MRI, it's the job of the radiologist to do what we refer to as a needle biopsy, which is non-surgical, and then determine whether or not the abnormality is in fact a cancer. And so we've gotten to a point now where many times the person who is seeing the patient with the problem in the breast is not the surgeon any longer. What you probably are seeing now is a new pattern, and that is where the radiologist starts taking a more active role. The patient is there, the radiologist takes the picture, identifies a mass, there's nothing on clinical exam, and then that very same doctor can then proceed with telling the patient what she has. There are many ways to do this. It can be doing with a sonogram. Uh, they could do a biopsy of what that lump is that is not able to be felt. And so really the surgeon is not the first person that one runs to nowadays. Mammography is the gold standard in breast cancer detection, but not, it's not perfect. It's a wonderful tool, but it still misses a, a, a certain percentage of cancers, whether we're talking about conventional film screen or digital mammography. And the, the, what we call the false negative rate, or the miss rate, essentially, of mammography can be as high as 20 to 30 percent in women who have dense glandular tissue, which represents a sizable proportion of the population and is typically seen in younger women, in the younger age groups. So to supplement mammography, understanding that there is a miss rate in breast cancer detection, many uh, facilities uh, around the country use ultrasound.